Hi everyone, it's Lori Manns with QualityMediaConsultants.com where we help entrepreneurs and small business owners to get more clients, more brand visibility, and create more revenue in their business in less time. Well, if you follow this channel, you know that I help my clients to create more profits and revenue in their business, and I do that by writing marketing plans and coaching my clients on marketing strategies that are magnetic and soulful sales solutions. And one of the things that I get asked about all the time is, what are the key components to an effective marketing plan? And it's no easy answer to that question because there's so many things that are critical to an effective marketing plan, one that's gonna move your business forward and help you get more clients and make more money. But I will tell you this, of course you need those marketing strategies and tactics that are going to help you get your message out there in a bigger way and be so powerful in attracting your consumers that it's going to push you forward. And one of the things that I will tell you you also need to have in your marketing plan is what's called the SWOT analysis. This is an industry term for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So it's spelled out SWOT. And so when you analyze the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, whether it's in your business or any situation, even in your personal life, it gives you the landscape of a situation and helps you to ascertain what the advantages, disadvantages, and, and what the whole situation looks like, really. And so when you do it for your marketing plan, an easy way to accomplish this analysis that's called the SWOT analysis is you just do a diagram and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So at the top of your page you want to put SWOT analysis and on the left hand side you want to put strengths and weaknesses and then on the bottom you want to put opportunities and threats. So you just put four quadrants on a page and you basically write out all of those things. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your opportunities? And what are your threats? So let's get into it. I'm going to explain each one. Strengths and weaknesses are internal to your organization. Now, um, opportunities and threats, they are external to your organization. Okay, so let's talk about the strengths first. The strengths are those things that push you forward, those things that are advantages to your company or your organization. It's what gives you the edge. It what It's what gives you the competitive advantage. It's what pushes you forward and helps you to have a bigger footprint in the marketplace or more of an impact in the marketplace. So the strength could be that you have this you know, mind-blowing technology that no one else has, or you have this app that you created that no one else has created. You know, we're in the world of the apps today. So it could be whatever that thing is that gives you that, you know, fast forward ahead of your competitors. So it's a strength and it's internal to your group and most times it's unique to your group or your company, okay? So let's move on to the weaknesses. Weaknesses are also internal to your company or organization because it represents something that is like a weakest link. It's something that you really wish you could, you know, do better or have more of, but you just don't. So for example, it could be maybe you're short staffed. You have to uh, outsource for everything that you do. So that's kind of like a weak link for you. Um, maybe you don't have that new computer system or that new telephone system or whatever it is that you really need to help you push your business forward and it's one of those things where you go well if I just had this I could be more successful so that's a weakness so if you analyze what those missing blanks are and those missing pieces in your company your organization or even in yourself then you'll be able to know where you are weak and where you need help and where you need um, some um, consideration okay so let's talk about the opportunities and the threats now these things are external to your organization or your company now let's talk about the opportunities opportunities come up when 
it is something that is of benefit to you, but it may not be of benefit to someone else. For example, you know when we have natural disasters, it's a flood or it's a um, fire. Well, if you're in the business where you provide resources or tools to those people who've just been flooded out of their homes or you do waterproofing or you know insurance or anything like that, it's going to be a benefit to you if we have a natural disaster. But it's not going to be a benefit to the people who are victims or, you know, have that situation happen to them. But it could be an opportunity for your business to grow because you get that incremental lift because of that thing that happened that wasn't so good for somebody else. So an opportunity could also be that you get some new funding or you get a new grant or you get a new partner or something that helps to push your business and your brand forward. Now, um, the threats this is the last part of the analysis, is also something that's external to your company. This is something that is beyond your control and you really have no way of knowing or predicting that it's going to happen. Say, for example, you normally get a uh, grant from the government or you normally get a grant from a sponsor and that money dried up or something happened that you you just didn't expect and it's now threatening your overall sales maybe you you had a situation in your company that was unfortunate an act of God or something that happened maybe you experienced something that was um, just debilitating to your business so that it's threatening your livelihood it's threatening uh, the success of your business and you need to analyze how you are going to overcome that thing and what your plan and your strategy is to get beyond it so there you have it that's a SWOT analysis that's how you put it together it's a great tool for on analyzing anything in your business and it's going to help you understand the landscape around your business acumen your business goals objectives and what exists that you could possibly uh, transform address etc so I hope this helped you if it did please like this video share it leave a comment below and of course please check me out and follow me on my blog at qualitymediaconsultants.com check in with me on social media Twitter and Instagram at Miss Quality Media and of course qualitymediaconsultants.com thanks for watching you guys bye bye